But if you look closely, the ball did move. And the keepers have all been complaining about the ball, right? But they always do, you know, when the World Cup starts. But here the centre forwards have been complaining about the ball and everybody's complaining about the ball. It's actually a disgrace. Have we seen a free kick scored? No. Why not? It's because the ball is not getting up and over or it's not getting round. It just keeps going. Okay, I need to try this ball out. Nothing left, you gave it all. So this is the Jabby Lolly Speed Cell, probably one of the most controversial footballs of all time. When it was first released for the World Cup in 2010, it basically just had a load of footballers complain about it. Goalkeepers were saying it moved weird so they couldn't see where it was going. Footballers were saying it's too bouncy, they were saying they kept overhitting it. So yeah, today I'm going to test this out and see if the Jabby Lolly effect is a real thing. Let's do it. Okay, so those were a few shots from the 2010 World Cup where the ball just moved really weird and the keepers couldn't control it. I've done a little bit of research and I found out that it's because of something called turbulent flow. Because the ball is perfectly round with all these little grooves on there, every time the wind catches it, it'll make them move in a weird direction. So it makes it very unpredictable and hard to see where it's going. Okay, so before I take any free kicks with the speed set myself, I'm going to show you some clips from friends of mine called PK17 who believe the Jabulani effect is real. And yeah, just check out some of these crazy knuckleballs. So they were pretty crazy shots. I'll leave a link to their channel down in the description. But now I'm going to take my first ever shot with a Jabulon speed cell. Let's do it. Okay, so as you guys have just seen from those shots there, the ball tended to move a little bit, but overall it didn't make too much of a difference. So I've done a little bit of research and there's three main reasons that this ball moves differently. So the first one is drag. Because this ball is made from only eight panels, not the usual 32, it's more aerodynamic through the air, so there's less air resistance on it, making it go further and faster, pretty much. So next up is the altitude. Because they're playing in South Africa, a higher altitude, that means the air was thinner, therefore less air resistance, the ball moved faster through the air, making it more difficult to control. And finally, elasticity. This ball is tested to bounce higher than normal football, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm sure there's some other reasons as well why this ball is different, but just from a little bit of research that I've done, that's what I've found out. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. It's actually a disgrace.